here we are. And there you are. Okay, Hi. let's go for it. Go off on Pilgrim. What? <laughs> Get it out of the way. Come no! On, do it. No, you're supposed to segue into it. Blitz Hi, everyone. Blitz went to go see Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe or the World or whatever <laughs> weird, stupid movie it was. Go ahead. Talk about it. You liked it. Yeah. <laughs> that is a segue. That's the segue. <laughs> Talk about it. It was awesome. No, it wasn't. Talk yes, about it, it some more. You don't get it. You don't have to get it. It was a weird. It was an yes, acid trip. Yes, you do trip. have to get it. It was an acid trip movie. Every no, it person, wasn't. Every person that I was with was saying, "You know what? If I was stoned or drunk, I would have got this movie. I would have enjoyed it." I got it completely, and I haven't done either. KP, who, who that didn't help either. Who did you? Oh. Go with? <laughs> huh? Who did you go with? Herbie and Yappy. Oh, oh that explains it. Well, they both. Herbie, liked it. No, Yappy it, didn't like it. Herbie, Herbie said he didn't. I laughed at certain moments in the movie, but Herbie was thinking it's like the ten movie of the year. No, it is not. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it is not. In your opinion, uh, and no. you're entitled to it. No, actually, I looked at Rotten Tomatoes. It's got an 80% rotten uh, right thing, so there's 20% that don't like it. I'm yeah, and 20%. you know what Star Wars had? Probably around the same when it came out. No, actually, oh. it had a 9 out of 10. You're actually, no, it didn't exist back then. You were conceived at Star Wars. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Here, put batteries. We but did yeah, this last I went, week. I went yeah. and saw Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. If you are a sober person, you will probably not like this unless you're addicted to video games. I'm not addicted. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Shut up. You okay. could not go a month without well, playing video games. Actually, Hold every it. time something showed up in the movie, yeah. he'd be like, oh, that came from Mega Man 3. No, I didn't that's say that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> you were sitting there like it was the wizard? <laughs> oh, look, what? he's got 2,000 coins. It should have been 2,200 coins. <laughs> we were sitting there making fun of it. It's like, wow. the As, yeah, that's exactly what we said. When the coins came out, they were like, they were like, oh look, coins. I was like, oh damn, they're Canadian. Yeah, he didn't even get enough for the bus ride home in the first one. You're still all yippy. <laughs> wow. Whatever. I don't know what's with your mic. It's, it's me. <laughs> don't don't yell. I don't yell. Okay, that that sounds fine, right? Where it's at. Yeah, that that's. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> So don't yell. Don't get but me yeah, angry. it is a it is a movie. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. You I can was actually, actually stop there. It was a movie. I, well, I was talking with Poink about this. Yeah. If it had actually come out against a good movie, would it have gotten the ratings that it got this I week? I don't. Think well, there were other it. movies that came out. Like was, uh, like um, I Eat, said, pray, love. good movies. What like what? Eat, pray, love came out this week. I that, said that good is movies. Instruction list. No, that's what all the girls went to go see. Oh, the chick flick. Why were yeah. the vampires in it? Yeah, you, you know, know what? It had Julie, Julie you know what? Her name there was. was hardly any females in, in uh, what the hell is Scott Pilgrim? Pilgrim. There Pilgrim. were two. There were two. I mean, yeah. There were more than two. I'm talking about in the theater. Butch and oh, yes. At the end of the movie, it was a theater full of older, or not, it was a theater full of single guys. Actually, our theater was kind of <laughs> tilted just a little bit because there were a lot of people sitting on the right-hand side, and every single one of them was fatter than me. So it was a bunch of single guys with pocket protectors, was it? No, they were all actually when they when they came out. Half of this is this is true. Half of the uh, half of the people that were walking out were texting on their phones. The other half whipped out Game Boys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They were they went with Game Boys or some kind of stupid wow. little handheld arcade game. There's a crowd of people that don't ever need a rubber. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't do that. <laughs> Did you text when you left the theater? No, I texted when we got to the dinner restaurant. <laughs> but yeah, I leveled up and learned what a girl was. <laughs> you still haven't learned before that? Wait a minute, back up. You leveled up? Yes. The movie was full of that. Actually, you know what was really, you know what was really funny though? Scott and, and this is up. Scott Earth. Because we were we were sitting there making fun of it through half the movie and uh Kren leaned over to me and he goes, "Dude, you so have to incorporate this for Megaplex next year." And I was like, this movie is a living megaplex. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, uh, we, we got to get this out of the way. Yes. Uh, everybody has already realized it and heard his voice in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have... What? They hear you laughing. Oh, God. What, you can, <laughs> you can discern who he is from his laugh? Yes, yes, you can. Dude, he's the Ed McMahon of Puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... Razvar. Yay! Yes, I am here. Okay, everybody freeze! The Razvar's visual acuity is based on movement. If we don't move, we turn invisible and he can't use. <laughs> so he's like a hooker. Yep. <laughs> Where'd he go? But uh, yes, I, I, I actually, like I said, I, I, when I where, walked... Where, where did Point go? He's right there. <laughs> where? Ah, he might want oh, yeah, There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wacking off, head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. 
Hi, Bandit. Bandit I'm not goes, Bandit! No, Bandit just walked <laughs> under the stage. Look. Bandit's hiding under the stage. Yeah, he is. Bandit's afraid of you. He's not afraid of me. Yes, he is. He All was right. sitting right next to, he's right next to my feet. So, if you haven't guessed, they're here because we had a huge convention this weekend. One of the biggest geek cons you will ever have. Scott Pilgrim bigger than versus us. the world. Huh? <laughs> bigger than us. Oh, nope. way bigger than it us. It was this. Wow. Wow, that's a cheap badge for all that. Not only that, but I think the word adult doesn't need to be there. <laughs> you were adult for four days? You sicko! Oh, it doesn't even have your name on it. No. No. Wow, that's how generic. That would have been extra ink. <laughs> yeah, it would been generic. With a thousand people that were in so standby, can you imagine having to try and so print badges? So what's to keep you from handing your badge to somebody else as you hand out? Like Absolutely favorite. nothing. Ah. George so Lucas is wrath. <laughs> so I wonder how many ghosts are at that con. <laughs> At that price, right? probably quite qu quite a few. Just one, William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the con? Oh, he probably did. No, Why? no, no. William Shatner's going to be at MegaCon this year. Good oh, for really? Him. Oh, really? Yeah, so is Patrick Stewart. Really? It's one of the monkeys. Uh, I actually again. might go to that. I, I would like to see a, that. They have to have a roast, or what do they call it? Where you, uh, no, they, they have already to have, have a battle to the death. They face <laughs> off. You know, Patrick Stewart versus Kirk. They do not need a battle to the death. That make was like in a, Scott Pilgrim. No, make it like a Mayor and Gladiator. That was lame. With the with the, the, the I can see it now. are in their 80s. They, they can't be pilled. The now, food. Kirk, leveling up. Bling! <laughs> <laughs> he learned how to speak regularly. <laughs> now we, you know, of course, the other thing tonight is I am cooking, so something may blow up. I hope not. Please oh, don't please blow don't up the blow kitchen. I need up. to use it tomorrow. I'm not please using don't. the kitchen. I'm using the grill outside. When was the last time that thing got used? About three when months it ago. Got moved here. <laughs> Does it have gas, I hope? Uh, it did then. If not, we'll hook you up to it. <laughs> <laughs> and Razbar is cooking the manliest thing we've ever had. Quiche. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. On a grill? Yeah. I thought you bake quiche. You can do How that do you know? Because <laughs> I've seen it made before. What do you think they did before they ever had ovens? Yeah, what do you think the cavemen did? They put it in a really hot, earthy stone area. Yeah, the, qui the quiche cooked really good in that. <laughs> they didn't make quiche back then. How do you know? Earthy because they didn't have all the stuff to make quiche. Why not? Because you'd need sausage and green peppers and stuff. You don't green think peppers? green peppers were growing? And, and they didn't know what they were. <laughs> they were growing. And, and, and chickens laid eggs. Yeah, that was always a mystery to me. It's like, what would we be having in an omelet if it hadn't been an egg coming out? <laughs> My oh God, it's the first poop joke of the night. <laughs> uh, I thought we wouldn't go there. Me oh, too. I did. <laughs> we oh, I went to uh, I went to a, uh, a a a brunch this morning. Okay. Um, there's a uh, some of our friends, Hino and Kren, uh, have bought themselves a, a new townhouse sounds or like condominium. A, sounds like a Nicktoons cartoon show. Hino and Kren. <laughs> Hino like and the Angry Kren. Beavers. But anyway, they they now live in Avalon Park, and uh, in downtown <laughs> Avalon, there is. <laughs> All a right, I'm already calling Blitz for huffing in the mic. What? You're huffing. I'm Stop. I'm not huffing. <laughs> Consider <laughs> see the guy. The, see the, the tech guys always catch the huffers. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and there he goes. You can see, see that what the night's going to be like. <laughs> but, but yes. That's no moon. <laughs> well, he's not, well, he's not wearing three wolf moon shirts, so. Hey, point. <laughs> I don't yeah. have But anyway, um, he, Hino and Kren, they moved out there, and they there's a bistro <laughs> out there called the East Side Bistro. Which one? And every Sunday, they have the eight ninety nine all-you-can-eat brunch. So they have, like, they'll do omelets. with quiche. like They don't do quiche for brunch. <gasps> But they had uh, sausage and biscuits, or biscuits and gravy, sausage, bacon, French toast, fruit, all kinds of stuff, and um, they have had that kids. for had that for brunch today. It was actually pretty good. I'm I'm not going to complain. It wasn't the best brunch I've ever had. I make better brunches, but it was pretty good for 8.99. Cool. So Sounds like everybody had a fun weekend, yeah. mm -hmm. except mm -hmm. me. What oh, did you I do? I had a starter go out on my car. You had a out. What? Go out? How did your starter? starter go out? Well, they get old after a while. Well, it wasn't starting anymore. But it was kind of just sitting there. But here's what sucked about it. Yeah. I did the right thing. I coaxed the thing through the week, and I'm like, okay, Friday, I'll pick up a new one. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, when it's nice and cool, I'll change it. It wasn't nice and cool. No. And Saturday was hot. Yes, it oh, was. Oh, not only that, but I go out to change it. Mm. The first one, they Conan the bolt on yeah, it so me hard. Yeah, it being hot. I just shredded the solenoid, so I had to walk up to Advance Auto and return it. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. Then I had to come back, put the new one on the car, mm -hmm. and it didn't spin. So I had to take it off and walk back up to Advance Auto and return it. Uh huh. So about 8 o'clock last night, I put the third starter in, and it worked. <laughs> How long is this going to I would last? think after number two, I would have said, you messing them up. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it ain't me. It ain't me. But I got it fixed. That was my weekend.
Mm -hmm. I went through old convention materials. Why? <laughs> Because I, I keep them for records. I've been working on some stuff for Anthrocon and Megaplex uh -huh. this weekend. Got some stuff done. <laughs> putting some proposals together. You guys will see them soon. Very cool. And um, no, I was... I <laughs> I, you'll see them eventually. By the way, this is not Megaplex's 10th anniversary. Come no, on. this is number 10. <laughs> Megaplex 10, so it's our 9th anniversary. I know. The one after will be 10. Yes. But anyway, it's M MPX, MP10. So I was working on that stuff, and I had a bunch of historical like stuff from... Old cons, right? Um, like I actually found because I'm on the board of directors, I actually deal with Anthrocon documents as well, and I found a bunch of those. So I was like putting them in the, putting those are the 2008 documents, and these are 2009, these are 2010. Oh, this belonged to Megaplex Eight, so I got to put this over here. He's like dealing with secret info. He's the deep throat of furry guys. That's right. But anyway, so I did. I spent a lot of time organizing that, so I got that kind of organized. Cool. And uh, cleaned up, did laundry, washed the bed sheets. Vacuum. What were wrong with them? There's just time to wash them. Don't you wash your bed sheets? They were yeah. they were crinkly. There you go. <laughs> no, they just. I have a dog, and the dog sometimes sheds hair, so it's like I want my sheets clean. Star Wars God in space, no one can hear you crinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted my I wanted my sheets clean. I had to and say it because I saw who's just walking up to the door. So prepare for the geekery. Yay! Uh oh. Oh my. Hello. Well, there's uh, our capture photo for tonight. Hot Solo, my God, you've let yourself go. <laughs> Where's Chewy? <laughs> I Where don't want that Chewy. <laughs> I don't want to chew that. That's not Chewy. Okay. Let the Wookiee. No, we're, we're getting the response now. <laughs> no nuggety center. <laughs> oh my. Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh, by the way. Is that the Vader shirt? It, it's, it's, yeah, Is that the Polynesian <laughs> shirt? <laughs> What's wow. that got to do with Star Wars? It's it, got it's Vader's Darth on Vader it. Vader as a pumpkin or a pineapple. Vader. No, it's like a like a palm tree top. He's got Vader. He's got Darth Vader. He's got a. He does have a pineapple. He's, oh, he's wearing. Rasmar, are you wearing, wearing your Star video. Wars underwear right now? He's wearing the shirt. He's wearing the shirt. Video. Nobody can hear you. Give him a mic. <laughs> he had a mic. What do you do with it? He ate it. Rasmar, are oh. you wearing your Star Wars underwear right now? No, no, no. Do you have I, your Star Wars underwear? I have this shirt here. It's a little wrinkled. He soiled his underwear. Because watching Gary I was Fisher. wearing this yesterday out at last tour to Endor, and right. it was Woo. absolutely effing hot. <laughs> yeah, it was like um, Florida. Tatooine hot. Ladies and gentlemen, Mutt is in the house. He is. Yay. Yeah, I want to get my sock. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Save that one. <laughs> oh, it's all wrinkled. Do you disrespect? Do you know what that looks like? Do you know what, do you know what that looks like? Vader's nose is a pineapple. No. Did you ever see the movie Rock and Rule? That is the weird, like, laser projection of the character Mock from Rock 